Hi everybody, how are you doing today? What's going on? I hope you're having a good one. Uh, looks like this is going to be a beautiful day for me. But anyway, we're going to talk about this car that could possibly be the car of the future. Uh, so let's get into this. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here. Uh, I was looking at this uh, Chrysler Hycon, and this looks like a pretty spectacular, beautiful car. Um, so let's look at the video. Let's look at what their concept is and what they're coming out with, and if this is the car of the future. The Chrysler Halcyon concept is an important representation of the future direction of our brand, both from a strategic and an innovation perspective, because it seamlessly ties together our design advancements, both from an exterior and interior perspective, and also seamlessly integrates the suite of Stellantis advanced technology solutions, including Stella Brain, Smart Cockpit, and Stella Auto Drive. So all of those things work together in order to deliver an intuitive customer experience. The Halcyon concept is an absolutely stunning design that pulls together a seamless and fully integrated and sustainable design language with technology advancements that help drivers and passengers achieve the optimal mobility experience, whether they're driving themselves or whether they're allowing the vehicle technology to drive for them. Halcyon, as a, as a definition, represents a period of time that represents happiness and joy and serenity. And so when we were coming up with the name for this concept vehicle, we wanted something that really aligned well with the whole definition of harmony and motion. And as the design theme started coming together, it was clear that Halcyon was the perfect name because when you see this vehicle, it is the perfect representation of pure seamless design and a seamless, joyful customer experience as well. No doubt, this is a very impressive car. And I'm sure you feel the same way. You can see the aerodynamics and how, you know, this is just a sleek, beautifully made car, but it's for the future. Because there's a lot of things that this car is going to be able to accomplish that hasn't even been developed yet like the AR VR windshield or windows around the vehicle where you can actually make video calls to people and talk to them face to face. Those things haven't even been developed yet. They are just now coming out with the AR VR headset that Apple and, and MetaQuest that they've just came out with and they're continuing to advance that. But I mean, that isn't even solid yet. They're still working on it. Uh, no doubt that's in the future. And the same with the valet parking or the fully, the fully active driving. I mean, Tesla is still working on that. And, you know, the, the full autonomous driving, Tesla hasn't even perfected that yet. And so this car has to be at least 20 to 30 years down the road. There's no way they're going to be able to come out with this anytime soon. However, Aptera is the future. And Aptera is coming out with things now that are really game changing, uh, like the solar panels on the vehicle. And they didn't even talk about that for the Helicon. So this is something that's really going to be, 
I mean, if you want to wait for it, sure. But we know that Aptera is game changing now with all the things that they're doing. Uh, they got the end wheel motors. They got the um, smaller battery pack because of the aerodynamicity of the vehicle that they've created. And also the drag coefficient on that vehicle is just 1.3. And so they are definitely going to perfect that while the other companies, as you can see, are continuing to work on something like this, where they're improving on things that haven't even come out yet, whereas Aptera is improving on what they already have. And that's what makes Aptera so impressive. Uh, how do you feel about that? What do you think? Um, this car, yeah, like I said, it's at least 20, 30 years down the road, where Aptera is now. And we didn't even talk about the car being made out of carbon fiber SMC. So, I mean, that's seven times stronger than steel. So this is a vehicle of the future that's already being produced today, uh, as well as the right to repair. This vehicle, they the company gives you the right to repair your own vehicle. And with this car of the future, how in the world are you going to repair that when most of the products that is coming out with hasn't even been invented yet? Another thing is that with concept cars, 99.9% .9 of them don't even hit the road. What most car companies do is they take bits and pieces from what they want to come out with and just use that in their next generation vehicles. So once again, let me get your thoughts on this. How do you feel about it? You think this is going to be a car that you might want to invest in or, or even buy? Um, it's a beautiful car. Don't get me wrong. I love the way they did it. Uh, one thing that I am curious about is uh, the front windshield. It doesn't look like it has any wiper blades. And if it did, how would they reach across the entire front windshield? So I was curious about that. But who knows what's going to happen 20, 30 years from now. But anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, you guys, y'all take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I got to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you very much for all that you do. I truly appreciate it. You're helping me get these videos out. And I thank you so much for your help. But if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. You'll catch all my videos when they come out and all my new ones, or you can catch all my old ones. But anyway, you guys take care. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye.
Bonjour. Do you mind to quit your pretending?